Hello, welcome to Intersoft Solution Tutorial Video. This video will show you on how to configure Timeline Viewing Web Scheduler. First, create a new website using Intersoft Empty Website Project Template. For your information, Web Scheduler in this video is already bound to SQL database through his data source. For further information about how to bind Web Scheduler please check Web Scheduler Getting Started video. Let's start configuring Timeline View. Go to Web Scheduler's property and set Web Scheduler's height to 100% and width to 100% for better layout view. After that, go to View Settings property and find Selected View Mode property. Through this property, we can specify Scheduler's first load view. Because we would like to configure Scheduler in Timeline View, then we will set it to Timeline. In Web Scheduler, Timeline View has five view modes. You can specify it through selected Timeline View Mode property. Let's try the default timeline first, so we will keep the value today hourly. We can also configure the Web Scheduler's time format. Web Scheduler can be set to 24 hours or 12 hours format through Time Format property. Save and view the result. This is day hourly timeline view. Notice, current scheduler is in 24 hours format. Also notice the range of time is from 8 to 17. Developer and marketing is the web scheduler's resources that has been imputed to database. Back to Visual Studio. We would like to change the scheduler time format. Go to Web Scheduler's property and find View Settings property. Change Time Format property to Format 12 hours. After that, go to Timeline View property and set End Time property to T19. Also specify Number of Days property to 2. Save and view the result. Notice that current web scheduler is already in 12 time format, and web scheduler show 2 day range from July 20th to July 21st. Back to Visual Studio. Now, we would like to customize Web Scheduler's Timeline View layout. Go to View Settings property and then Timeline View property. Set Content Cell Width property to 50, the Content Cell Width property value is in pixel. Also set Total Event in Cell property to 1. This property indicates that by default each Timeline cell is set to be able to hold one event. Notice that Web Scheduler Data Editing is also has been enabled. For further information please refers to Web Scheduler Getting Started video. Save and view the result. Let's try to add new event. Notice that after event 2 is added, the timeline cell automatically resize. This is because we set the total event in cell property to 1, so when timeline cell has more than one event, 
it will resize automatically. Back to Visual Studio. We would like to configure the Zoom In and Zoom Out feature. Go to View Settings Property then Timeline View Property. Find Zoom In Level and Zoom Out Level Property. By default, the Zoom In Level Property value will be Day 15 Minutes, and Zoom Out Level Property value will be Quarter. Let's see what it looks like by view the result. This is day hourly timeline view. Notice that there are two button in the scheduler header, zoom in and zoom out. Click the zoom in button and we will go to day 15 minutes timelines view. Notice that there is only zoom out button. This is because we cannot zoom in anymore in this view. Click the zoom out and we will back to day hourly timeline view. Click the zoom out and we will go to week timeline view. Notice that the week view begin at July 15th. This is because the default timeline week view mode is set to first day, which indicates that the first week is starting at the first day of the month. Since the web scheduler selected date is July 20th, and counted as week 3, then July 15th become the first day of the week. Click zoom out and we will go to month timeline view. Click zoom out and we will go to quarter timeline view. Notice that the web scheduler's header will be hidden when we perform horizontal scrolling. Back to Visual Studio. Now, we will limit the zoom in and zoom out capability to certain view only, and we would like to set the header to be always visible, although we are in horizontal scrolling. Go to Web Scheduler's property and find View Settings, then Timeline View. Find Zoom In Level property and set the value to Day Hourly, then set Zoom Out Level property to Month. Set Keep Header Visible property to True. Save and view the result. Now, notice that there is only Zoom Out button. This is because we set Zoom In Level property to Day Hourly, so the maximum Zoom In Level is Day Hourly. Click Zoom Out button and we will go to Week Timeline View Mode. Notice that there are Zoom In and Zoom Out button. Click Zoom Out button and we will go to Month Timeline View Mode. Notice that there is only Zoom In button. This is because we set the Zoom Out Level property to Month, so the maximum Zoom Out level is Month. Now, notice that the header will always visible even when we perform horizontal scrolling. This is because we have set Keep Header Visible property to True. Back to Visual Studio. Now, we would like to configure date header mode and week mode of timeline view. Go to Web Scheduler's Properties. Find View Settings, then Timeline View Property. Notice that there are seven options for date header mode in timeline view. Let's set it to date number and shortest day name. Set Timeline Week Mode property to Week Number.
Also set selected timeline view mode property to week. Save and view the result. Notice that week timeline view is starting from July 18th to July 24th. It is because the selected date property of web scheduler is counted in week 29. Also notice that the header information is shown in date number and shortest day name. With simple settings, you can now easily configure timeline view in web scheduler. Thank you for watching Intersoft Solution tutorial video. For further information, you can visit our website at www.intersoftpt.com.